Imagine a scenario where the lives of 30 million Americans are dependent on a single water source. This is not a distant possibility. It's a critical reality faced at Lake Powell, where the majestic flow of water through Glen Canyon Dam is not just a spectacle, it's a lifeline. Yet beneath this awe-inspiring display lies an engineering challenge that could disrupt lives and ecosystems far downstream. Lake Powell, America's second largest reservoir, currently holds a mere 31.5% of its full capacity. This startling figure marks a decline that poses serious concerns about future water availability. The lake's level today stands at 3,558 feet, a significant drop from previous years, highlighting a pattern of uncertainty that impacts millions. We don't find a way to get enough water past Glen Canyon Dam by fixing this plumbing, then we're going to see water cuts inside Utah. And it could be coming to some of the suburbs of the Wasatch Front. Every Utah should be paying attention to this crisis because we're going to have to take water cuts if we don't solve it. In April 2023, an audacious high flow experiment was conducted to simulate natural river conditions crucial for managing sediment downstream. However, this experiment also unveiled a hidden crisis. The infrastructure enabling these flows, particularly the dam's outlet works, is under threat. The dam operates through a trio of release mechanisms, penstocks, river outlet works, and spillways, each integral to its function. The penstocks primarily funnel water to hydroelectric turbines, generating power for millions. The outlet works serve as a secondary system, crucial during low water levels or when the penstocks are offline. Spillways used only in emergencies prevent overflow by rapidly discharging excess water. However, the real story begins in the arteries of this massive structure. The outlet works. Recent inspections have revealed worrying signs of cavitation in these conduits. Cavitation, a phenomenon where rapid pressure changes create vacuum bubbles that implode violently, can erode the steel pipes, posing a serious risk to the dam's structural integrity. Cavitation isn't just a technical nuisance, it's a formidable foe that can shut down the dam's ability to release water safely. As Lake Powell's levels continue to drop, the likelihood of cavitation increases, complicating management decisions. The risk is particularly acute acute during high flow experiments designed to mimic natural flood events that redistribute essential riverbed sediments. These experiments are not merely operational tests but are vital for maintaining the ecological balance downstream, influencing habitat conditions for aquatic life and the overall health of the Colorado River. The plumbing design of Glen Canyon Dam is archaic. It's just too old. It's literally antique plumbing and it's going to have to be fixed by lowering the bypass tubes to a lower water level, presumably at riverbed level. Addressing the cavitation involves not just patchwork repairs, but potentially rethinking the dam's design or introducing cutting edge technologies to monitor and mitigate pressure fluctuations in real time. Engineers and hydrologists are now tasked with a complex balancing act, maintaining water flow for human and ecological needs while ensuring the dam's longevity. The situation at Lake Powell is a microcosm of the global challenges posed by climate change and water management. As temperatures rise and precipitation patterns shift unpredictably, reservoirs like Lake Powell are on the front lines of a growing battle for water security. The decisions made here, how we manage, share, and conserve water, will resonate through the ecosystems and communities that depend on this vital resource. As Lake Powell reaches critically low water levels, a deeper understanding of the legal and environmental challenges faced by Glen Canyon Dam reveals the complexity of managing water resources in the Colorado River Basin. This dam is not just an engineering feat, it is also a linchpin in a complex legal framework that governs water distribution among several states. The Colorado River Compact of 1922 and subsequent agreements dictate how water is shared between the upper basin states, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, and New Mexico, and the lower basin states, California, Arizona, and Nevada. Lake Powell, situated at the heart of this legal matrix, plays a crucial role in ensuring that upper basin states meet their water delivery obligations to their lower basin counterparts. However, the recent deterioration found in the dam's outlet works complicates this task. With the dam's infrastructure compromised, the ability to manage water flows becomes not just a technical issue, but a legal quandary. The states dependent on the Colorado River are currently renegotiating their pact, considering the dam's reduced capacity and ongoing climate challenges. These negotiations are fraught with tension, as each state vies to secure water resources amid dwindling supplies. It started shaking apart and starting to get structural damage. 
So the results of the experiment demonstrate that these tubes cannot be used to deliver large volumes of water downstream. The environmental impact of the dam's operational challenges is profound. The river ecosystem, dependent on regulated flows for habitat stability and sediment transport, faces an uncertain future if the dam cannot function effectively. Environmental groups argue for a reassessment of dam operations to align more closely with ecological needs, suggesting that adaptive management strategies could mitigate some of the negative impacts on river health. To address these multifaceted challenges, experts are exploring innovative solutions. One proposal includes re-engineering the dam's water release mechanisms to adapt to lower water levels without inducing cavitation. Another strategy involves the use of advanced modeling and real-time data analytics to better predict and manage flow rates, ensuring compliance with legal requirements while minimizing environmental disruption. The urgency of these innovations cannot be overstated. As climate change continues to alter hydrological patterns, the resilience of water infrastructure like Glen Canyon Dam is tested. The decisions made in the coming years will have lasting impacts on water security, environmental health, and interstate relations within the Colorado River Basin. As we explore innovative solutions and the necessity of adapting to changing environmental and hydrological conditions, looking back at historical events where similar challenges were successfully managed can be enlightening. One such instance occurred at at Oroville Dam in California during February 2017. After a period of heavy rainfall, the dam's main spillway suffered significant damage and the emergency spillway began to erode. This situation prompted the evacuation of over 180,000 residents due to the imminent threat of a catastrophic flood. The response to the Oroville Dam crisis involved immediate and long-term strategies to address both the structural weaknesses and the operational protocols. Engineers undertook extensive repairs and upgrades, including the reconstruction of the damaged spillways with reinforced concrete and improved drainage systems to better manage water flows and prevent similar incidents in the future. The key takeaway from the Oroville incident was the importance of proactive infrastructure maintenance and the adaptation of dam operations to changing environmental conditions. It highlighted the necessity of continuous assessment and upgrading of aging infrastructure, a lesson directly applicable to Glen Canyon Dam. By studying the engineering solutions and management strategies implemented at Oroville Dam, water managers at Glen Canyon can better prepare and possibly prevent the ongoing issues from escalating into a crisis. The situation also underscores the need for investment in modernizing infrastructure and enhancing the capabilities of existing facilities to handle extreme weather events and environmental changes, ensuring the safety and reliability of water resources. As we look to the future, the fate of Glen Canyon Dam and Lake Powell is emblematic of larger global challenges in water management. The interplay of engineering, legal mandates, and environmental considerations at this site will provide critical lessons for similar situations worldwide. As this story unfolds, the eyes of the nation remain fixed on Lake Powell. The outcomes here will not only shape the environmental strategies in the Southwest, but also inform water management policies nationwide. With each passing season, the lessons learned from managing Lake Powell's precarious balance of water, energy, and environmental needs become increasingly vital to our collective future. Stay with us as we continue to track these developments, offering insights and analysis on how technology, policy, and community engagement are converging to address one of the most pressing issues of our time. Join the conversation in the comments and share your views. What solutions do you think could help resolve the challenges at Lake Powell? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our ongoing coverage of this critical issue. Your engagement helps drive our exploration of solutions that might one day ensure water security for millions. The results of the Bureau's experiment demonstrate some very serious concerns and an emerging crisis inside Glen Canyon Dam because of Lake Powell's falling water levels.